Hey, what's going on everyone? Just uh, out in the woods again, uh, doing some camping. Mike's here. Uh, you might recognize him from other videos like 40 mile per hour winds. But I am six feet away. And he is practicing social distancing. So, um, yeah, we're out here just uh, trying to get out of the house, you know. And we have some new gear that we want to show you. Um, they are quite drastically different, different ends of the spectrum. Um, we're looking at about a low of 25 degrees tonight. And um, his gear is all primarily uh, aimed towards warmth, where my gear is more so aimed towards uh, being lightweight and packability. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and show that to you here in a second. All right, guys and gals, we have our equipment set up, uh, laid out on the tarp here. I will first start off with Murdoch's stuff. We've got the uh, Climate Static V 3 fourths length sleeping pad for Murdoch, perfect size for them. Um, and they're really not too bad of a price. I think that was 40 to $45. We've got Murdoch's sleeping bag, which is an Ozark Trail Walmart special, 40 degree rated. He will also be sleeping in his Weather Beta winter coat. So he should be nice and toasty and probably stay warmer than myself. Lay down. Um, I I'm going to be in a hammock tonight to have a tent. We have the East Hills Outdoors Skyloft. It's a hammock with bug net and a tarp. Really good price when I got it. It was only $70 on Amazon. Um, and then with that, I'm pairing it up. I don't have it in its stuff sack. I got it in the Sea to Summit stuff sack instead, but this is an East Hills Outdoors three-fourths uh, quilt, under quilt. And that's rated for about 45 degrees. What I'm using as a top quilt is an Aegis Max Outdoor ultralight uh, down sleeping bag. That's rated for only about 52 degrees. So we'll see how I do tonight. Um, we also got our chairs. They're both similar. They both may be from Walmart just for a few years apart. Um, as you can tell, it's not the same chair that I, uh, or either of the two chairs that you've seen in my other videos. My Thermarest chairs are both broken. And until I hear back from them about getting them warrantied out, I am going with a $20 Walmart special. And that one very well could be too. Uh, just an old version. Mike. Yep. Um, so I've got a tent set up. I've got the same tent set up as said in his other videos, the Lux Megahorn uh, teepee. Uh, but I've got the Mega Slice bathtub floor. Um, my ultimate goal is to have a winter set up. I don't have a stove yet, but this has a cutout out of it where you can put the stove so it's uh, not a fire hazard. Uh, but for now, I've got the Mr. Heater Portable Buddy uh, Camping Heater with a camping propane tank. Um, I have a King Camp backpacking um, cot, uh, but it has an inflatable back, so the, the pad is built into it. So we'll see how that works. And then for my sleep system, I've got the standard U.S. military issue sleeping bag. Uh, the summer one or the, the blue one, the mild uh, temperature one uh, with a bivy cover and then a stuff sack. And uh, I think that should set me up pretty good for tonight. And uh, just to show a quick size comparison, I might be in over my head tonight. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Other than that, in my videos, I do have a with my mega horn. I do have a floor, but it's not the what's that called? The oh, you got slice? the half hex floor. Yeah, I have the half hex floor. Right. What's the mega slice? Is what that's called? Mega slice. Mega slice. So yeah, this is the mega slice. Mine's more like just half it. I also bought the uh, Lux Batwing, which I don't have here today. But uh, when we get some colder weather this upcoming winter. Uh, Drew and I are going to do the two mega horns with the bat wing connecting them. That'll be a fun one. All right, we'll show you guys some more here uh, once we get everything set up. All right, just wanted to show you our pillows real quick. Forgot to include that in the rest of our gear comparison. 
Um, the little red one is mine, and the one with the moons on it is uh, Mike's. Uh, his is a Thermarest, mine's a Climate X Pillow. Both are in their most compact state right now. So uh, we'll go ahead and show you size comparison once they're um, in their extent, expanded state. Okay, and that is them in their fully expanded state. The uh, Climate is obviously an inflatable, where the Thermarest has like foam chunks in it that expand. Uh, I believe it's like recycled foam. So, all right. All right, let's get some fire, get a fire going. I got this for Christmas one year. Oh. Oops, I put it out. There we go. I said no. No, I think we ended up doing no. it. <laughs> no. No. I mean, maybe you tried it and I backed it. Maybe. Is this all the wood? Is it all over here? Is there still more to be moved? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. You know what I should have done? And I never thought about this. When I got MREs in the military, you'd have to trade with other people or scavenge a couple bags. Yeah. I just had a whole box of 12. I could have like opened them all and made like a premium one <laughs> with just all the best stuff. Yeah, why didn't you? I didn't think about it. Huh? They're expensive. Yeah, I know. That's a little downfall. 
all the preppers brought them up and drove the bikes up. I know, right? A lot of dry leaves around. Yep. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll let it burn back a little bit, and then you know extinguish uh, that rain and push the rest back. Thin it up two, and then those have longer lengths. And then these. Whoa, two, whoa, whoa, dude! It's like getting towards your it's burning your the fluff. All right, so Mike's chair has sunken into the ground couple times and the uh, feet obviously weren't glued on or if they did the glue has broken free by now and we lost the feet deep down in the ground <laughs> uh, so yeah two feet so far we've lost uh, if you're dealing with any bit of soft ground I definitely recommend the sand base of some sort Helox sells them this one's like Trekology I think it's like 10 bucks Helox is a little bit more expensive but so we did some fancy bushcraft out here, and uh, we each brought a Coke can as a treat. Uh, we actually brought two each, so we might end up putting four Coke cans on, one on each foot. But there we go. To replace the missing feet, rope to hold it in place, or paracord, and uh, so far it's working great. Any complaints? Not yet. All right. So, in a pinch, yeah, you figure it out. And I, I loosely call this bushcraft. <laughs> All right, it's dinner time. And hi, buddy. tonight we are being treated by Mike <laughs> to MREs. I have beef ravioli and meat sauce. This is, uh, cheese tortellini and tomato sauce so uh let's get that going of course now the smoke goes this way <laughs> it says peelable is it is it really peelable i don't know you can peel them <clears throat> big pain in the butt oh yeah oh yeah i'll get you your dinner too don't worry don't worry all right that's the beef ravioli Chocolate banana nut muffin top. Come on, get back, it's okay. Sounds delicious. No. Some cheese spread, that will go good with the chocolate banana nut top. A little cheese on top. <laughs> Kippered beef snack. Ooh. That sounds like a dog treat. I think it's like beef jerky. Some tropical flavored fruit juice. This is my hot beverage bag. Oh, nice. Now these I don't think we had. What, in the core? Yeah, well, back when I was in. Spoon. You know what they used to do? They take away our cutlery. Did Why? they do that to you? No. Just mess with us. <laughs> take away your wheat snack bread. Some cheese spread. Yeah. What are you munching on? Some pretzels. Pretzels. You got your, uh, I was always told this is for uh, making you poop, the gum. <laughs> I think it's just actually caffeinated gum. And some hot sauce. We also used to have the glass bottle Tabasco sauce. I think that's in Little some of them. Ones. Okay. They have different accessory kits in them. The different okay. crap. You got yours heating already? No. You gonna tell what's in yours? You want me to take it all apart? You don't have to. I just read them off. <laughs> uh, nope. I'm eating the pretzels. Okay. All right. We'll go over Mike's later. As he eats it. It'll be like real time. See, I got out of the National Guard in 14. 
I haven't mastered one of these in like six years. I got out 2003. Oh, it's been 17 years. <laughs> Make, oops, it's been out over. Oh, God. Oh, gosh darn it. Just pour a little bit out. I did on my crotch. <laughs> the chemical reaction water. <laughs> Good job. Yep. Well, now those are just sinking down. Aren't there instructions on it? Yeah, there is. The, the instructions say do not overfill, which I obviously have done. They don't have boxes anymore, huh? Yeah, the sleeve. Yeah, the, the pouches used to be in a box. Yeah, that's right. And you open the box, pull it out. All right, so I've got cheese tortellini. Uh, come on, Murdoch, watch out. Murdoch, come here, bud. Over here. Come on, bud. Move. Murdoch, come. Crackers. Good boy. Dry roasted Good peanuts. Boy. Sit. 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 Good. Chocolate peanut butter spread. Down. Hot sauce. Lime powder, accessory packet, uh, the pudding mix. I think you can add water to the powder, chocolate powdered pudding mix. We'll check back once these are warmed up. All right, come here. Come sit. Sit. Boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 you gotta wait. Eat it as I'm pouring it. All right, wait. Ah, 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 ah. Down. Down. We're like, down. 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 Oh boy. Free. I saw that on the menu. What's the chocolate peanut butter taste like? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Crackers all fell apart. It's kind of. Back, 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 back. Quite a bit of effort. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Murdoch definitely wants it. It looks like a dog, dog treat. Like a beef stick. What's that? It's like a beef stick, but a bit drier. <laughs> Not bad. You want some? Oh yeah. Put it on the put it on the charm, huh? There you go, bud. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, get out of there. That's trash. You don't need to lick the plastic. It's not all trash. That's some of my stuff, too. Wheat bread. Sweet snack bread. Murdoch. No, 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 no. Murdoch. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Murdoch. No! Back it up. Back. No. Come on. Come on. You don't need to be that close with my food. Murdoch, no. You already had your dinner. No, Murdoch. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. You just rip it. Murdoch. 
Murdoch, seriously. Come on, man. No, Murdoch. Stop it. Mmm, stop it. Mmm. Like a big old cheesy turd on a flat piece of bread. Mmm. Still Maybe I should spread that out. Yep. Still cooking. You have any to start yours? It's like caulk. <laughs> like old caulk. Mm -hmm. Like, not flavor wise. T consistency um you know like stuff that's just a bit too doesn't come out real easy can't get it off the spoon i have to scrape it off with my teeth Really cheesy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yep. Jake. There you go. Good boy. No, 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 no. You don't need to lick. You don't need to lick that stuff. So. Right. Really? 10 to 15? Mm. That's why um, we always ate them cold. The Marines. And what you do, oh, out, uh, is you save the heater packs, warm yourself. Mm. All right, I can spit in. Plenty long. All right, it's moderately warm. And I'm more than moderately hungry. <laughs> so that will do. No, no, Murdoch. No. Looks like he's coming off of it. Well, up, Murdoch. I want to throw the camera. Murdoch, no. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Stop it. Stop. Oh, yeah. There we go. That looks delicious. Let's see how it compares to the Chef Boyardee. No, no. Oh, these are t tiny ravioli. Hmm. I think the Chef's got one up on this. <laughs> but. I think it's pretty much tastes similar to what I remember. Mm -mm. No, Murdoch. No. You've had enough. I'm getting comments that you need to be on a diet. <laughs> Those comments are from my mother. Um, I think around 80, How much does about 100, Are they but about the same like bone structure size. He's a girthier. He's Jack was like half American, half English lab and he's full English, which they're girthier. Um, 
but uh, yeah. So I mean, he's he's his dad was all Murdoch's dad was a big boy. Like so fat or muscular? Uh, not fat, just wide, like Kylo Ren. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Okay. And then Return of the Jedi. But then there was Phantom Menace, Clone Wars. We don't talk about those. <laughs> oh. Just kidding. Hmm. How's your Torellini? It's okay. Show Sorry the camera. It looks. Is yours warmer than mine? Eh, it's okay. There was a part of it that was cold, and then the bottom of it was hot. I never looked at how old the ones were in the military, as far as like the packaging date. Neither did I. Didn't care. I was hungry. <laughs> was it like that for you? Or are you just hungry nonstop? In, uh, in boot camp, maybe. Yeah. We tried to get double rations. Nope. They had double rations for really skinny guys. Uh -huh. I tried to get put on double rations. They weren't. They weren't buying it. <laughs> Sucking in as hard as I could. It's like the senior drill instructor was like, "Anyone who's not on double rations who thinks they they should be, raise your hand or stand on line." Uh, at the end of the, end of the day, um, you know, buy our bunks and. Uh, <clears throat> Starts walking towards me, and I'm just sucking it as hard as I can. He <laughs> doesn't even get like within 20 feet of me, and he's like, Stefan, put your hand down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out dessert. Is that up no! Murdoch, you did this. Oh, he's getting it. He's getting oh, it. <laughs> you little douche. <laughs> Cut it out, Murdoch. This is the banana chocolate. What is it again? Nut bread? Yeah. Chocolate banana nut muffin top. <laughs> so. Oh, I forgot to show what the gritty pudding looks like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably picked that out of the trash. No, Murdoch. No, Murdoch. Seriously, come on, man. Uh, yeah, it's like a... I don't know. Oh, well. Hmm. Not the worst thing I've eaten. Not bad. You can't have this. There's chocolate in it. You said the pudding was tasty. Yeah, it's okay. Weird consistency, though. Mm. I don't know how much four ounces it is out of a camel bag while I'm trying to like flip the hose and put a little bit of water in it, and you can't see it going in. Yep. Dude, they're just crumbs. Very small ones. No. No, no. Very bright tonight. No, but I like that because then you can see the stars better. When the moon's so bright, like sometimes, I mean, that moon's just so bright that, like, you don't even need a headlight. Uh -huh. You know? Um, but when it's like that, and it's beautiful, but when it's like that, you can't see the stars as well. Me, like, uh, 
wind chime? <laughs> well, no, like like you know, a warning system. You might hang like some string with some cans up to make <laughs> sure if any animals come or intruders. All right. Yeah, we'll we'll snack some pierogies. Smoke in my face. That's a spice for you? No, this is uh, some olive oil. Oh, nice. Wish this was a little bit more level, but I make do. Spice, spice rocket, I think. Spice rocket. Oops. Flip them with, I said. Sort of, yeah. Potato pot stickers. These are hot, so let them sit for a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you even eat? Yeah, three more right there. Oh. <laughs> How did freaking leaves get in my bag? Yeah. And dog hair. Yeah, see what's cool about this little stove is there's these two ports, one here and one there. So you feed sticks in cross over. And so, because it's so small, you can leave the, the extra length of the stick sticking out. And then as it burns, you just kind of stick it in a little farther. And it just keeps feeding it. Yeah, you like those? Never had pierogies before? Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, these are just about perfect. Huh? Anyways, Mike said this was delicious. I've had them before, so I already know, but I'm gonna let them cool off a little bit and dig in. All right. Oh yeah, looks delicious. Hopefully I'm not just gonna burn the dickens out of my mouth. Mmm. No merak. Mmm. Very good. Alright. Anyone who hasn't had pierogies before, definitely try them. They're delicious. Here's my uh, setup. I'll be sleeping in for tonight. The uh, tarp is just folded back for right now. Um, just for easy access, I'll fold it forward and stake it down. Keep it a little bit warmer in there. But we've got the under quilt, which will keep me warm. I'll probably put my coat, wrap it around the foot box area or something. Um, sleeping bag, pillow, 
festive lights. Not a whole lot to it. We'll see if I stay warm. Let's have a peek at Mike's setup. Plenty of room for, for one person in here. You guys have seen the Mega Horn. Murdoch, 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 Murdoch. Not our tent. Not our tent. Uh, here is the sleeping bag setup he's got. Military system. And this thing's pretty cool. Built in. That's pretty uh, heavy duty material. Good quality. Definitely seems like a nice, nice quality. Let me know how comfortable it is after you sleep in it. I mean, I, like, a cot by itself is pretty comfortable. And an air pad. And we got these. Little profile feet and legs. for bed well I can't say I'm getting ready for bed I'm going to bed I got Murdoch tucked in in his sleeping bag uh, he's right underneath me he's nice and toasty uh, Mike went to sleep a while ago it's pretty late I haven't checked the time but it's late so anyways I will uh, see you guys in the morning morning well I uh, slept pretty good it was a little chilly uh, but not too bad um, my sleep system kept me warm enough uh, and comfortable enough um, didn't really feel too horribly cold or anything the biggest thing was for whatever reason, my underquilt, I don't know if I got some of the uh, shot cords crisscrossed or something, but uh, it kept wanting to shift to this one side. Maybe it was just the way I was sleeping, but I had to keep shifting it over to keep my, uh, well, my warmth equal and even. But anyways, Mike's up. He's... Uh, Got the fire started, so uh, let's go ahead and get out there. How'd you sleep? Yeah, it was all right. Yeah? Uh, the heater wasn't quite as warm as I thought it would be, and um, I think the military sleep system, I think I should take the winter bag and stuff it in the summer stuff sack, so it'd be the same amount of size but a little bit more heat. The bivy cover, I mean, I don't think I really need that with that King Camp uh, inflatable cot. I think if I just uh, have the most insulation in the sleeping bag and I'm sleeping on that inflatable cot, that should be good anyways. Yep. But overall, tent was good. Kept the wind out. I don't know. Maybe I would have put down the snow sheets to keep the wind out a little bit more. But just checking it out for the first time, it seemed pretty good. Yeah, it was a little windy. Did they kind of get some gusts sneaking under? Uh, there was definitely a, an airflow. Coming from you know. or from outside? From outside. <laughs> <laughs> cool cool got the fire going nice all right well let's relax by the fire a little bit i did break the tripod base well i i don't want to say i, I broke it you just, it broke you bumped into it and it fell over and broke it. yeah yeah, something along those lines. It, it broke last night. So, yeah, so the tripod base for my uh, camera here uh, broke. So, um, we'll have to be uh, just holding it from here on out for the rest of this trip. But, anyways, I'm going to sit down, relax for a little bit, enjoy the fire. 
How do you keep getting leaves in your dish, man? <sighs> Maybe because there's leaves everywhere. Is that, is that why? Yeah. There. Oh, no, back it up. Sit. Ah, 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 no, ah. You're, you're too close. You're too close. You gotta back up. Back, back, back. Back, 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 back. Alright. Stay. Sit. Stay. Ah, ah, stay. Stay. Ah, ah, ah. Right up. Stay. Stay. How old is he? Uh, four? Sit. Sit. Are you a good boy? Ah, 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 ah. I didn't, no, I didn't say free. No, 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 no. Look at me. Right on. Good boy. Free. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching and uh, enjoyed seeing the gear comparison. Um, I think we both stayed warm enough. Uh, you know, we weren't like roasting, but we weren't freezing either. Uh, comfortable enough to sleep. If you guys have any questions about any of the gear or anything else, leave them down below in the comments section. Um, you know the drill. Like, share, subscribe, notification bell, blah, 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 blah. Uh, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time.